In this video, I'm going to show you Epoch Cam, an iOS application that allows you to use your iOS devices as a high quality webcam. Let's get into it. The video quality you're seeing here is pretty much the same quality that you're going to find on a Zoom call if you're with me. The way I get this done is through my mirrorless camera, the Sony a6500 going into a capture card. In my case, my capture card is the A10 mini. Now, if you already have a camera with an HDMI output, this can already be done. Check out my video on cheap USB capture cards. Now, if you're not willing to spend $500 on a camera and a capture card, but you just want to really just step up your video quality, you can use your iPhone as a high quality webcam. Before I go on, let me say this. Before you spend any money or try to upgrade your camera, take care of your lighting first. This is the number one way to really improve your video quality. Check out my video on quick tips on improving your online meetings. Uh, there I talk about a lot of lighting tips as well as some audio tips as well. So back to video and I'm using my webcam right now. And this is typically what you would use or see the quality wise in a laptop webcam, right? The built-in one. So this one is a 1080p webcam from Amcrest. It's not bad. The colors are very washed out and it's very, uh, how do we say it? It's very generic, right? It's not that great quality. The lighting is not that great. I'm backlit, which is what you see a lot in a lot of meetings from people but I can greatly improve this quality just by turning on the light here, my video light, and that should improve it greatly. So you can see the camera is adjusting right now. Now the camera quality has to do with the hardware itself and the software running it, right? So in this case, uh, this webcam, I don't have too much control over the quality itself. Now I'm going to switch over to Epoch Cam on my iPhone here, and I'm doing this in real time as far as recording wise in Ecamm, which is a Mac software for streaming and recording. So I'm going to switch over to Epoch Cam. And now this is Epoch Cam. If, can you see the quality difference? I think you can, right? The quality difference is quite striking compared this to this, right? Now the field of view or how wide things are is a little bit different. Now this is just using the front facing camera right now. So I can switch to the back camera and the quality will be so uh, a little bit better. It may be hard to see online and even in online meetings, but I just want to let you know there's an option there, right? So now I'm using the back facing camera. Of course, I can't see myself on the screen anymore to frame myself, but I can see myself on my screen on my computer. So if you're on a Zoom meeting, you can kind of see yourself there as well. Uh, the nice thing is because this is the iPhone 12, this also has a wide angle camera. And so if I hit the button, now it's a wider frame view. That's the problem is I can't see the button uh, when I'm turned around right now. But uh, let me see. Let me see if I can tell the difference. Can you tell the difference? Let's see if I can hit it again. And so you can actually use the wide angle view of the camera itself. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so let's do a side by side comparison. Okay, first let me flip back and forth between the webcam and my phone right now, Epoch cam. I'm using the front facing camera, just by the way. And so this is the webcam and this is Epoch cam. And if we look at them side by side, you can see the different quality, I think, right? So I'm going to flip this camera around one more time. And you should still, still be able to see a difference. Uh, I think I'm using the wide angle view here. Let's change that to that, right? So you should be able to see a difference between the two. You know, I feel like I'm, uh, you know, autometrist. So one, two, one too right this is epoch cam this is the webcam right okay now i'm back to my front facing camera and just i'm going to do a comparison with my mirrorless camera now so uh, you should see a bigger difference now so this is 
Epoch cam and Epoch cam I'm looking into now. And then this is my mirrorless camera right now. Of course, the field of view or the focal length is a little bit different. Uh, this is a little bit wider. I'm using a front facing camera, uh, which is a little bit wider than this camera up here. Now, if I do a side by side comparison, you can see you can see the details in the in the good camera there showing. And that has to do with the camera and the lens as well. Now, if I switch over to the back facing camera, you'll see the difference as well, right? So that's a little bit uh, more better comparison as far as side by side as they're, they're concerned. But let me go back to here. This is my mirrorless camera and this is Epoch Cam. So you can kind of see the difference, but actually Epoch Cam and my iPhone 12 is really holding up as well. So I'm going to do a quick walkthrough of the application, but before I do that, let me just say that this is a paid app. There is a free version, but the pro version is $7.99, which seems like a lot for an app these days, but it's definitely worth the money. Now the pro version unlocks the high definition, uh, high resolution video quality that you get. You're locked to, I think, about 640 by 480 on the free version. And there's some other, you know, features that you definitely want to take advantage of in the pro version. So let's do a quick run through of the application itself. So here we're in the app right now and I have the front facing camera going. So I'm going to actually just switch it to the back facing camera, uh, the regular camera, so you don't have to see my face the whole time here. You can just click on the button there. And so there you go. Now you're seeing my Mac Mini. And so I'm going to start on the right side here. You'll have a 1x there. I can switch to the wide angle view. Now this has to do with the camera that you have or the device you're using. So if I switch back to my front facing camera here, you can see that the 1x disappeared because my front facing camera there's only one single lens there so I can't actually switch to it so it has to do with the hardware that you're using you know now if you're using the iPhone 12 Pro then you of course you know that you have three lenses you have the 1x you have the wide angle but then you also have the two times lens there so that'll show up there of course, you can flip the screen or mirror your camera if you want to. This button is for flipping or switching between the front facing and the back camera. And then this microphone uh, one, which is the second to the last button there, is you can actually use the camera itself or the microphones built into the phone as your main microphone. So that might be good, great for if you have a low quality microphone or if you're using the built-in microphone in your laptop. That might be a great alternative as far as a higher quality microphone because the microphones in these devices are really good. And then the last button there, which I'm not going to press, is the ability to do green screen as well. So on the top left there, you get some uh, guides, getting started, troubleshooting. But if we click on the settings there, this is where it gets interesting. Uh, the connections there, you this can work as a Wi-Fi wireless camera, which most people I think will use. But I like using it as a USB camera because it has a very, it's more, more of a stable connection. And then NDI stands for Network Device Interface. And if you don't know what NDI is, well, don't worry about it too much. But if you do know what it is, and you've used it in the past, you'll be very happy that it does support NDI. So now you can bring it into your current workflow of production. So if you're using vMix on Windows or Ecamm on a Mac like I'm using, you can bring in multiple NDI sources into your production software. Then of course you have your quality, uh, fair, good, and best. You should always keep it on best. And then the chroma key has to do with the green screens as well. Now the other nice feature is you can turn on the flash here. And again, if I'm on the front facing camera here, there is no flash available. It's x out because there's no front facing flash on here. But if I switch it back to the rear camera, now that's available to me and I can turn it on and off. So you can kind of see it on and off there, right?
So you can kind of see it on there in the reflection and off there. This has been a quick run through of Epoch Cam. This is a great app to have and well worth buying the pro version for $7.99. $7.99. Now, especially if you're on the go and you just have your phone and your laptop with you, this is a great step up from the built-in webcam of your laptop as well. You can also use the microphone that's built in to your phone as a microphone on a Zoom call. And also another use case for this is kind of an overhead shot, an alternative uh, shot for your production, right? Uh, I can always just switch to this camera as an overhead camera if I'm doing like, let's say a review on my Keychron keyboard here. Uh, there's just different use cases as well. The last thing I'll say is you're not limited to using your phone. You can use your iPad as well, which is a step up as far as quality is concerned versus the webcam on your laptop. So it can be any device, especially if you're using your phone a lot during meetings, uh, you need to pull up information. Uh, you want to use something else other than your phone as a webcam. That's another alternative as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the near future, I'm going to be doing more of these kind of budget alternatives for online meetings, streaming, kind of this production on a budget type of videos. What we consider normal or what we're transitioning back into is not going to be the same. And I have a feeling that we're going to be doing a lot of hybrid solutions. So uh, online and in person at the same time. So I'm going to come up with some of these alternative budget solutions for those. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and consider subscribing. Until the next one, see ya.